Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Katie Collette with your Wavy TV 10 headlines. Police have identified the body found yesterday in Chesapeake as Dijon Riddick. Now, they found his body at a Home Depot outside of it on Old Taylor Road. Riddick went missing from the Western Branch area of Chesapeake last week. Police say he died from an apparent self-inflicted gunshot wound. The man charged in the death of his girlfriend's five-year-old son will spend 10 years behind bars. Earlier this year, Justin Cox entered an Alford plea to child abuse and involuntary manslaughter charges. That means he did not admit guilt, but agreed prosecutors had enough evidence to find him guilty. Today, Virginia Beach City Council will begin discussing how to fill the Beach District seat. As we've reported, a panel of judges ruled Councilman David Nygaard was never eligible to run and voided his election. Our Brett Hall will be monitoring this afternoon's briefing. He'll have updates tonight on Wavy News 10 at 4. Today, you're invited to a send-off for the ODU men's basketball team. They're heading to Connecticut for the NCAA tournament. As we've reported, ODU is playing in the opening round against Purdue Thursday in Hartford. The team will board buses this afternoon at 215 on 45th Street beside the Ted Constant Convocation Center. And we sure wish them all the best. You can find all of your headlines throughout the day on wavy.com. Our next newscast is at 4 o'clock. Have a great day.